All right, let's get that rump and running. All right, we're good. All right, back at it again, Collective, man. Look like I never left, man. I'm back. I'm back. I'm back. Got another co-host with me, though, this time. Got Jupiter, man. Jupiter, how's it going, bro? Hey, how y'all doing? It's going good, <laughs> man. <laughs> definitely going great, man. It's going great. Gonna definitely be live as possible, man. Hype as possible. This is the second game, guys. Second game of the day. It is... Uh, what is it called? I'm sorry. Wow. It is Prime Elite. Versus U2 Easy, guys. U2 Easy versus Prime Elite. Now, tell me, Jupiter. Tell me, tell me, tell me, tell me, tell me, tell me. How do you feel about both teams? Because I think, to be very honest, that your team was actually going against U2 Easy, if I'm correct. Yeah, we went up against um, U2 Easy in the first week of the Summer Cup, and they almost came back on us, but we were able to secure it. Um,. We did give them a couple pointers at the end of the match, and we'll see if they use it uh, for this game since they are attacking first. Uh, we gave them some attacking pointers with droning and stuff, but Prime Elite, I'll be honest, I haven't seen much of them in a while besides the last Summer Cup game uh, last week. Other than that, I haven't seen much, so I can't really say anything. Okay. No, no, I, I am very familiar with Prime Elite. They were... Um, a team that was just just picking up numbers, just picking up people. They are stacked. Like, I mean stacked with just heavy hitters. As you do see, we got, you know, a lot of members here. Like, right now, what is it? I think you guys have, like, 20-something members. And there's five of them right here representing them, guys. So, <laughs> yeah. you already know. They're, they're here to play. They're here to play some action. Uh, but again, man, for you guys just t tuning in right now, guys, it is going to be the second game of the day. Second game of the day, guys. It's three of them. Three of them. So it's going to be U2 Easy on attack. It's going to be Prime Elite on defense. And again, once again, we're going to be going back to Coastline. You already know Coastline, guys. <laughs> I received predictions in chat. Ooh, yeah. That's awesome. <laughs> but tell me, Jupiter, how, how do you feel, man? This is your first time casting, man. This is the first time being in the collective, man. Please. While we're waiting for uh, you too easy, please give me the description, man. How do you feel about the collective? How do you feel about the summer cup? How do you feel about casting, man? Give me all of that description, please, man. It's it's really hype, honestly. Like, cause like this is the redemption bracket, but just casting it, you know, these two teams really want to move forward, and it's gonna be a great game. And for a game to start off with this one, like casting it, it's gonna be awesome. And Collective itself is honestly an amazing, if you're not in it, join it. It's an amazing community. <laughs> yeah, it's definitely a amazing community. But now, remember, you were in the Summer Cup. You did, you know, take down U2 Easy. So how do you feel winning that game? And just like, you know, how has that felt for you and your team? It, it felt really good. Um, going against them and actually taking the win on that. Uh, we did practice with them in a scrim uh, to get their play style. And after that, we just adjusted our practices towards how they played, and it, it helped us uh, get the W on them. They played well, but I think we just put more time into it. Oh, yeah, and I definitely agree. And, uh, of course, Sauce, you already know the deal, man. I'm over here hosting. I'm going to host all three games, and I got my boy Jupiter here, man. He's from Raven. It's going to be Jupiter. He's going to be hanging out with me. He's probably going to be doing uh, both of the casting, right? Is that correct, uh, Jupiter? You're going to be doing both of the games with me tonight? Yep. All right, yeah. So we got uh, the second game of the, math of the day. It's going to be uh, U2 Easy versus Prime Elite. And then I got the third one coming out. It's another redemption bracket match right there. This Noble Minds versus Zodiac Esports. I got Jupiter. I'm going to be hanging out with me is that one, with that one as well. So it's going to be just, uh, yeah, we're going to become best buds up here. Doing as best <laughs> as we can and doing this casting for you guys. So that's definitely going to be it right there. Um, again, I did get information that you uh, 2 Easy, they're just getting that one more person in here who had to restart his whole Xbox just because of the fact that, um, he wasn't able to get in here, so hopefully he can get uh, reconnect and uh, yeah. But again, you guys watching the home, some nice 
facts out there. I know you guys probably at home are cheering for Prime Elite. Prime Elite is probably one of the fan favorites for this map. If, um, and I know you 2 Easy are definitely probably one of the underdogs of this game. But uh, definitely predictions, guys. I would love to see how predictions roll out there. Um, I know you guys can definitely pitch in your opinions. I would love to see just like how Pro League does it, guys. I would love to see how you guys vote this out. Would you think that? Don't even tell me the score. Just let me know. If you guys cheered, put the name on there, guys. Put the name PE or just you too easy, man. Just let me know who do you guys think is going to take this game and how just like. So I can have pretty much a voting description of what's going to be happening, how it's going to be looking, of who's cheering for who. And it's just going to be awesome just to have that in mind. So you never know because imagine a lot of people would be cheering for Prime Elite. You too easy coming out of nowhere and surprising us all. You never know. So we just got to be ready for all that. Hey, anything can happen, but. um... It's split right now between PE and you Yeah, Yep, there you go. I like to see, man. I like to see. I do like seeing some uh, switching on. And remember, <laughs> a lot of people are going to be cheering for Prime Elite just because of the fact they know them. So we'll just got to see, man. Now, please, Raven, over here, man. Mr. Jupiter, Jupiter, how do you feel? Is gonna happen. I just literally witnessed this map. Like I literally was casting it. I was here. I felt it. So how do you think? Just watching that map yourself, because I did see you were watching it as well. How do you think the bands are gonna look like for both teams? Um, I think Prime Elite's gonna stick with the uh, common, probably Echo or Mira ban. And I'm not sure about the attack one, but U2 Easy kind of throws people off with their bands. They're not. They didn't really stick to the normal band, so... I can't really give a prediction about that. Um, I could see a Pulse ban coming out from u 2 Easy again. Okay. Which is... But not even, like, like just u 2 Easy. No, that, yeah, it definitely is. But not even for u 2 Easy. Like, just think of the map in general. Like, just Coastline. Who isn't a nuisance that you just want to be like, Hey, get him off the board. Just get him out of here. I just do not want this operator here. Like, who would you do? Like, if you had to choose, who impacts... Coastline. If you're attacking first, Jaeger. Because with this okay. map, with you have one site that's usually big, and then one site that's smaller. So, you know, a Ying, grenades, and stuff like that, you could really take control of site, the smaller site, just like that. And probably Blackbeard. <laughs> After last game, I shouldn't have <laughs> to give a, a reason. He was a yeah. <laughs> Was a definitely a powerful operator, and there he is. There's Peaks joining us out here for you too easy, and I think both teams are ready to go. I feel like you guys are chatting at home or just eager to go, so we're just gonna start this bad boy up, man. And here we go. Let's just see, man. You never know. Maybe your bands are correct. You too easy might be surprising us as they did last game versus you guys. They did the surprise with the bands. Uh, Prime Elite also whooping out those classic bands. So let's just we'll never know. We'll definitely see what operators come to play. Yep. As we do here, have Prime Elite on the defensive end and U2 Easy on the attack. So Prime Elite will be banning the first operator on attack. So let's definitely see what they bring out on their arsenal of who they hate. Here we go. And we have Prime oh, Elite. Oh my goodness. The Mav. There we go. Not in our prediction. Not in your prediction. <laughs> not definitely at all. Definitely the Mav. The Mav being different and coming in. Here comes you too easy with their attacking ban. And there's the Lion, man. These guys are surprising me. You know, this is what I love. I love seeing different operator bands. I like, you know, the Thermite and the Habon on the Thatcher. Yeah, they're powerful and everything, guys. But just different operators. It's just like, holy snap. It just happened. Like, Mav and Lion. Is that really a good band or really is that not? You know what I mean? And there's the Echo being brought as well from you too easy now here comes prime elite with their last defensive ban they know exactly what they're doing they picked it pretty quick here comes their last one and that is emla loving these bands already different bands but at the same time familiar bands the echo is very familiar and very powerful alone on any type of map ella with the traps is just imagine trying to do that late push and then just the ella mine the goo mine just hits you like it's just like what what is going on <laughs> you can't see anything and it just, just takes you out right off the bat i do like the map though the map is very very unique it's very unique especially if they go penthouse that's probably what they're looking for to remove that so and then again the lion just going with the classic eg 
evil geniuses over here just be like, hey, we don't like lying. Just, just pull a Canadian. You know, that's what they're doing right now. As we have Prime Elite going downstairs to kitchen server entrance, and they are bringing that mirror. So obviously, Supreme seeing that he did bring that mirror, he's like, hey, let me pick that Twitch because it's not looking so good for us if we keep that Ash. But we'll definitely see right here what they bring out to Narsimus. We did see NX playing the exact same map right here with Empty. And now last game, they brought a lot of Montaigne. They brought a lot of Nomad as well. So they might pull out the same Arsenal over here, as you can see, Jupiter. Oh, yeah, but I'm kind of surprised to not really see any destruct, like soft destructive operators to go above sites and... Stuff yeah. like that, so we'll see how this plays out. Yeah, I definitely agree. They don't have a sledge, they don't have a Sophia, like anyone. Uh, it's Buck as well, just to make him hay mayhem up there. They did have that Ash, but they thought that Twitch was way more important to take care of the twi of the mirrors, excuse me. So, well, I definitely understand that. As we already have mirrors putting her mirrors down pretty early in the round, as Twitch did not go out there and get one single one yet. Hmm, she did throw out another drone. Did she lose her other one in the prep phase? Yeah, I think she... I think to be very honest, I think she did. Unless the other one's really well placed and doesn't want to waste it. And she's going to trace it to Bream. She's going to try to go right through. Focus on the Maestro instead. But does get taken out, sadly. Leaving all the mirrors left alive. If that was her last drone. We will find out later in the round if that was her last one, though. electronics. I do love the Legion, though, especially that they're bringing the Maestro, I mean, the, the Montaigne, so that should be pretty deadly and, and annoying for these attacking operators over here from U2Easy. Annoying for sure. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely agree. Now let's just see what happens as uh, no Fragonaut has been happening yet. Bigfoot had been taking a couple of damage here and there. But um, let's just definitely see how you can push off and hold this angle. The only person I really, really want to consider how they work it on is, look at this. Montaigne is already putting on his smokes down. He does have the fuser. Oh my lordy, look at this lesion. An amazing, cheeky, beefy play right here. As he will be putting the fuser oh, down. Wow. He's going to be backing right off. That's pretty powerful. It sucks, and it's very sadly that no one's there at the moment to help the Montaigne with any type of, you know, planning right here. He's doing it all by his lone self, as we do see just J-Wall taking out Supreme right there, right off the bat, that's the Twitch. As, again, Legion is up there, just, just profit right here, just holding an angle, making sure that as soon as the Montaigne pushes in, it's pretty much endgame for him. We have Bigfoot coming on the flank right here. Bearing slowly, didn't even know he was there. Gonna be snapping off, and there's Prophet still getting the kill on Bigfoot. Amazing job on Prophet collecting that kill as well. Right now, Prime Elite looking like they're just having everything go their way. Look at these guys right next to each other. Don't know that they're actually in sight right now because each other. They're just crazy taking that one out. <laughs> there's peaks falling down for you too easy. As we have only clapped us last alive in planes. Let me see if you can challenge that mirror. Not gonna be getting any luck there. 44 seconds left on the clock. Let's just see what planes and claps can do. They do have the fuser in hand. They still have 35 seconds left on the clock, but all remaining operators from probably are still alive. So now they have to actually just counter this, watch out for flanks, and remember, this deadly guy right here with his ACOG might be the change of it. We gotta be very careful as we have a lot of roamers still out there in the game. And if I'm not mistaken, she's still alive. Mira still has her C4 as well, so they have to watch out for all the utility. Oh, there's he got another one making a nice 2k for himself. There's Montaigne getting smoked out. Had it back out, gonna try to go for the plant, but there it is. DK just showing it off and just shutting it down. As Smoke Canister going out, does notice he's taking some damage. He just starts shooting because he had no more seconds left on the clock. Very well done from Prime Elite and making it look pretty... Not gonna lie, that easy look, it looked pretty easy for them that round. So them going on to that round, collecting the first round on Kitchen. Let's just see how you 2 easy finds out, counters it, and reflects off and makes it another round for themselves. As now they're gonna be bringing a Jack into play, they're bringing a Montaigne, the Gridlock, love the Gridlock. Thick as can be, but just powerful as well. So, and she just, she goes, gonna just trick me out there. Come on, man, I love my Gridlock, man. Come on, don't be doing that to me. As it will be bringing in a Capital as a replacement. It's very good on that part. Picking the Blitz as well. Bring the sexy Legion over here into play with the Elite Skin and the Deadly Blackbeard. Ladies and gentlemen, the Blackbeard, back in play.
Last match, he was deadly. Let's see if they can do it again. As we have Peak switching off for the Blitz, going into the Habana. And we also have Cryptic bringing the Dock, switching off to the Valkyrie. So tell me, Jupiter, 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 how do you think P.E. was very successful collecting that round? I feel like you 2 easy. I didn't really see any drawing come from them. And I didn't see any crouching either, so I'm sure, especially upstairs with the Legion, I'm sure Legion heard the Havana coming, so was able to get that. And then it seemed like they were just playing together to where, like, one person's here, and then literally, like, the next room over, it's like, alright, I got you back from here. PE seems to be playing more together as a team. I definitely And they're able to that. close out on their kills. Uh, yeah, that's exactly it. That's what probably got them to win that round, and I'm not gonna lie, man. Got Mr. Val Mrs. Valkyrie over here. Just throwing some nice, beefy plays. Beefy cameras, excuse me. I'm sorry, man. I might have to steal some of those. Because that was some nice one on that luggage. Not gonna lie. Now we have Bigfoot over here bringing the LMG. I'm telling you, just, you know, if you didn't bring the gridlock, I know you wanted to bring it, but he's going to the Capital because his bolts, his ability is just powerful overall. Like, you just going against the Capital, you just fear for your life running away from his bolts. As we have planes over here, just going to be going, being aggressive. I'm going to check out the room real quick, seeing what he's working with. And there's DK taking out Habana. That's peaks right off the board. I'm like, getting a nice kill right there with the SMG. I think it was peeking off of ruins and gets that kill. Very nice play there. Behind me. Oh, yeah, the ball right here. Gonna see if we can get a kill right here, but that's Cryptic really taking a slaps. Slapped, excuse me. That's the Blackbeard right off the board. I thought that was getting taken out so easily in the round. That's not looking so good right now for you too easy. That's big for gonna see the smoke pass right by. See if they can change some shots. It's Montaigne. Gonna be doing some pushing. Yeah, they're gonna be pushing in, and the Maestro gonna be stopping him in right there. Gonna do some damage. So he can't be pushing in very easy like that. His leash is gonna be throwing a, a nice. He's gonna, hey, Kate, catch this. Gonna get taking that out, though. And Bigfoot. Let me see if he can take out the smoke right here. As he does. The bolt's going out. Gonna be damaging the smoke right here. Gonna be downing him, and he does. The bolt's so deadly. I told you guys. Bigfoot just collecting that kill on DK. Supreme watching sure that nobody comes out from his flank as plants. The plant's gonna be going down from Yeah, from the Montane, but Legion takes out that kill. Making le only making Bigfoot and Supreme being the last operators alive. PE only has four of them left alive as well. Scripty does have that rotation. They might be doing a run out right here. No claymore there on site. As Capital did not bring his claymore, he brought his flash his flashbacks. Let's see what he can do right here. Will Valkyrie be doing a late rotation right here? The Jacko can be taken out, and that's Jay Wall shutting it down. That could be another round for PE right there, ladies and gentlemen. Jesus. Alrighty. Jupiter, you're good, right, buddy? Um, yep. Good to go. Alrighty. As you just saw, ladies and gentlemen, you two easy tried their best to get the plant down, and it I, it was working, except the maestro can. The meatball himself was just being in a nuisance, just literally shotting him down and just shooting him down to the floor, dropping him, and Legion just finishing off the kill. So that was a very crucial play right there because that lost a fuser, leaving only Capital and, ja and Jackal last alive. Sadly, they couldn't get, you know, the round there, but... You too easy trying their best to collect an extra round here. It is t way too early right now to even decide the winner, but still, Prime Elite making sure that it's making it look a little hard for these guys to collect the round. As we will be going down upstairs to Penthouse and Theater, Montaigne getting switched up from the Habana, and also the Legion being brought once again. So tell me, Jupiter, what do you think You Too Easy should be doing differently right here to secure these victories? What is not working for them? I feel like the Monty is taking himself out too early, like as we saw last year, to the door, and then I believe after 30 seconds, he threw smokes and was going in for a plant. And 
I feel like yes, he needs to great. hold back a bit more and have people drone him out. And let his team do some work before they go in and try for a plant. Very true. But now if you do see that they're not, not they're not bringing the Montane this time for the attacking side. It was a very, you know, the first round was very disappointing on the fact that he didn't have no support helping him out. The second round it looked like they were helping him out a little more. But now let's just see now that he is bringing a certain operator from himself, not being the Montane. He's bringing the Ying this time. So let's see how that works out for them. And that might change to the game. You never know. Maybe the Montane was just making them play more passive, but now it's going to make them play more aggressive or whatever the case may be they want to do. And we'll find out. Maybe it'll work for them. Perfect, and I do this. Peaks bringing a Nomad once again. Bigfoot bringing the IQ. And uh, just let's just see what they do right here as we do have some very crucial roamers right now. Green Crypto has a Legion roaming out. We got J-Wall that's roaming over here in luggage as well. Smoke holding a nice tight peak from underneath, making sure nobody rotates from underneath, starts bucking the floor, or whatever the case may be. So, let's definitely see what they can do as Prophet can take some shots off right there as there was one on the window. Luckily, he does survive, though. As he's going to be trying to re-peak it once more. As we do have planes that run on top of it. Yep, he's going to be going on that nice, cheeky little spot right up here that we all love. Gonna see if you can get a kill right there. As Nomad will be repelling on that window to see if she can collect her own kill. Let's just see as we have Bigfoot pushing in from underneath in server entrance. So, what do you think right now that U2 Easy is not doing? Like, are they not pushing aggressive? Because you did say you want them to push aggressive. This aggressive, uh, aggressive enough for you? Or what do you think is going on, Jupiter? <laughs> I think they're going a little bit more strategical about it with the IQ, and I am seeing some droning from the Zofia. Uh, I think if they can just... They have... They can get the shots. They just need to... Drone it out and look. Very well-placed support from Profit. Getting a nice 2k. Take it out. Nomad and Ying right off the bat, ladies and gentlemen. As Claps is going to be pushing it right into the bat, so we're going to be jumping in and just collecting that first kill on Profit. Make sure he does not get more kills than that. And the Jaeger's going to get shot down. That's Jay Wall getting shot from the top of the ceiling. Right there. We got Discipline trying to take out those. Going to non successfully waste a mirror, though, but it does have a C4. Will he toss it? Will he do it? As we do see Clap, going to see if he can hop on this drone. He does hear that going to C4 going out. Does not take any damage, though. Look at that. There is a mirror. There's Clap collecting another kill right there, making another 2k for himself, refagging, and another 3k right there, ladies and gentlemen. That's what it is right there. This, there it is. You too easy. Trying to push in and get these kills and making it happen. J Wall still on the hallway right now. Gonna see if anyone tries to rotate pretty late. This cryptic pushing in. But remember, you too easy right now doesn't even know that there's no one on site. So they're gonna be repelling in. This gonna be taking out his first kill right there of the round. Gonna be seeing him put some loose traps behind him. Another person droning in. He's gonna be jumping right in. Jay walking another kill. There it is. There's oh yes, there's Mr. Supreme pushing in and getting that kill. Leaving it a 1v1 as it's Jay Wall. Just gonna finish off the round right there for his team, making it a 3 to 0. Very well done from U2 Easy. They actually changed it up a little bit, though. They've been a little bit more aggressive. Even though they did lose two people right off the bat from that C4, they actually still came back. They killed, got some kills off right there. They were making it happen. Clap just, just pushing it with the Habana and just saying, hey, you took out two people, I'm going to take out three. And that's exactly what he did. So, very good on his part. And I just... <laughs> Let's just see. It looks like they're learning. I, I, I don't know too much of you 2 easy, but if I did look at the game before when they had it with you, Raven, uh, with, with your team, Raven, um, what they were doing was they were literally, like, they let you guys have a couple rounds, and then they came back. Exactly what you said before in the beginning of us talking. They let you guys, you know, they, they gave you guys a comeback money. Like, they just like, hey, we're fighting for this, and that's exactly what they're doing. So it looks like they're reading Prime Elite, now they're just literally gonna be doing the comeback. Never know. As we have Prime Lee going downstairs the kitchen. So tell me, madam, what do you think Jupiter that they did differently? Because it looks like they actually did something different than what I saw. Did you see that too? Because you actually did mention that they were droning more. What else did you like from that play that they did right there? Yeah, they were droning more, which I like to see them 
change their playstyle mid-game, drone more. They almost secured that round. I just feel like they just need to roam clear, and then they'll put they'll start putting up rounds after rounds. Because this is an open for them. That last round was a very close round, and they could take it if they wanted to. They just they just have to roam clear. Yep, I definitely agree with that. But now, what do you think Prime Elite is talking right on comps? They almost did lose that round. So now, how do comms you think are looking like in your team? Uh, I feel like they're going to play a little bit more safer and not have people peek towards the same spot, like with that Habana, how she got the 3k. So I think they're just going to tell each other to sit back. Activating drone. Probably going to be sit back and relax, and that's probably what we're going to be doing for this round right here, is we have... The Blackbeard from Planes bringing out. Remember, he was just switching on to the Montane, switching on to the Ying, and now he's just finding his home problem with the Blackbeard. So let's see how much kills and what he can do right here for his team. As there is one up there, and he will be—he did spot him. Prophet's up there, gonna see if he can get a kill in this window. But sadly, they did repel up to the window, up top to the roof. So he will not be getting that. But the Valkyrie over here exchanged some shots off with the Blackbeard. He's gonna be still challenging this. And now he notices, like, yeah, I might not win that battle, so I'm gonna push back real quick and push back to profit. Scanning. Does he have Black? Yeah, Blackfoot over here. Bigfoot, excuse me. Having the fuse. I do like the fuse play right here. Because they are downstairs. Bring the fuse from upstairs. Remember what you said before. Now bringing a soft breacher to make some destruction. They said, hey, we're listening to you, buddy. We're gonna bring somebody that can even make it better. And that's exactly what they're doing. If they keep him alive, <laughs> man, they can make it better and make some damage up top. As we have Peaks just pushing right in, it's going to be tracking some footsteps. And that is exactly going to be the Valkyrie. Yep, and then he knows his Valkyrie is cleared and right next to him. So, but remember, Prophet is in that room. I don't think the Jackal knows that. Jackal just going to let it happen. He said, nah, you can keep shooting me. Keep doing it. doesn't matter. I'm good. Leading trap on his leg. Trapped in this corner. And there's Prophet collecting that last kill right there on him. They kick him out. Peaks, that's Jackal off the board. And there's some, there's some shots from Sophia. But then again, Prophet saying, no, no, no. I'm taking you out, you're not taking me out. But then, of course, Plains answering that back and said, hey, I'm taking you out. And that's exactly what he did, making it a nice 3v4 right now. And now, there it is. Bigfoot does have control upstairs now. Now, this is where it might be crucial. If he's up there, it might stop this from happening from everybody that's an objective. Might kill DK right now, you never know. Might break him that mirror trap. You never know, there he goes out, there he goes. Sadly, not taking anyone out. Another one going out there. This is the last one, and he will be. Oh no, excuse me. That was IQ. As Cloud's gonna be taking out this split right there. He's gonna be breaching up top, as well as you said before with the soft breaching. As we have IQ, there's DK taking our claps. Very nice LMG shot right there. His planes and Mr. Fuse up top. We're having no time left in the clock. They only have 50 seconds left. Planes is gonna have to push down there. He has the fuser. Three seconds. Oh my god, five seconds left on Jay, Jay Wall. Just taking that one out. Blackbeard left alive, Mirror just staring him down. Nothing can happen here, he's just gonna save his KD. As we did say, buddy, yeah, no. It's not gonna happen, it can't happen. And he will <laughs> be losing that round, making Prime Elite again, taking 4-0 on the defensive end. Okay, guys. Prime Elite, they are looking, like if you guys look at them, they're looking unstoppable right now against you too easy. But again, you too easy right now if I am noticing it, they're droning more. They're finding these people more. It's just I feel like they need to be paying attention as we did see the Jackal. He did track someone, but then he went straight off to find that Valkyrie. And he didn't even notice that the Legion was in there. So he just needs to be more careful now when pushing in because a lot of people that do get tracked by Jackal tend to run back to a roamer. Just because of the fact that, hey, I'm getting tracked. Maybe this guy can help me out. And that's what happened. So very good part right there. Oh, that was a very the good Legion. play. Yeah, very good indeed. As now we will see round five, guys. We will see Prime Elite going into Hookah. Can they secure another round? Or will Easy be uh, focusing and noticing what they're doing now and make a difference? Prophet bringing in the meatball. Meatball was very deadly as, she, as they were before, and it was just in the way. Like, Montaigne tried to push in, and he just couldn't do it. Just because of the fact that the Maestro was just bothering him all the time. You know, there's smoke canisters as well, the lesion traps, just these guys know how to stop people from pushing in this one. They're stopping them. And that's, it's just amazing what they're doing. That's pretty good. Now, now, you're too easy, as they are bringing the gridlock this time. 
Bringing the gridlock can actually change things because if you do put the gridlocks and her her deadly traps in the right location, you can actually stop a lot of rotation, stop a lot of runouts, stop just anyone while you're in the plant down. They'll cover you up pretty good. He'll be throwing a nice cam right side. Gonna be getting spotted as well, so they know that he's a Valkyrie. As he will be barricading that right back up. We have clips. Yeah, it's clapped. Dropping onto the LMG. And we have Bigfoot again. I'm <laughs> going to the LMG as well. So we have a lot of LMGs being brought right here, ladies and gentlemen. A lot of firepower that he's going to be doing. So let's just see if they can actually do this differently. And see how far they can get. It's a nice cams being crossed right there from Valkyrie. Just getting all angles, getting all of the run out lo locations. So people on your team can be like, hey, somebody here. Let me run out and get this kill. It's very good cameras. I do like this hold, though, because if you do look at this hold right now, it's only DK. That's the only one near site right now. We do have, yes, Legion that's on cool vibe stairs, but literally on site is only one of them. The rest of them are all moving. We have Prophet that's close by, and he does have that hatch that just in case he does get pinched too much on Aquarium, he will be dropping that hatch. And he also has J-Wall that's literally underneath him. So, it is a great hold that I do like. Every operator is right next to each other. If anything happens, something goes wrong, it can change that from happening. Grenade going right out. Going to be taking out one. And that is Discipline. Getting right off the bat right there. Supreme getting that kill. But a nice free fry from Loading Grenade taking him out. As Jaywalk collecting another kill right there. Taking out Peaks. And that is the Fuser in hand too. Uh-oh. Not looking so good right now. For you too easy. Losing the Fuser. But they still got those LMG power. As, oh. Spoke too soon. As there is the Valkyrie taking out Clap. That's another LMG gone off the board, leaving only Bigfoot with the LMG gonna do a run out right here, it seems like. No, Alright, so he's not gonna be a run out. We have planes holding an angle, making sure that's happening, making sure no rotations are happening from upstairs. Bigfoot gonna try to push in from office and try to clear out this area to grab the fuser. But, right now, PE looking in the good zone right now, has the fuser in hand. J Wall's holding it in a great position, to be very honest. So, Let's see what DK can do right here. Again, there's only 40 seconds left on the clock, man. Leaving Bigfoot and Planes left alive for you too easy. Don't have the fuser in hand. And there's four people remaining from Prime Elite. How's it looking right now? Jupiter, how's it looking? It's not looking to be in their favor. But, with 30 seconds on the clock, a lot can be done. No, 20 seconds, my bad. Yeah, you're totally good as we have planes taking out one kill right there, taking out profit. Still don't have the fusers. Looks like they're just going to go for frags. And again, if they do go for frags, we do have J Wall that's going to be sitting on the fuser. So, literally, if you look up here, guys, there's nobody there. Only DK that's over here on Cool Vibe Stairs, and that it is. It is right there, ladies and gentlemen. That's PE collecting that round and moving on to make sure they collect five. Making five zero. What do you, what do you got to say, Jupiter? What you got to say to these guys, man? Well, PE showed up, and they brought a great game, I guess. I think you 2 easy kind of read into their play style a little late. And it's really showing. But, yep. when it switches over Again, to it's defense, never too late, anything man. can happen. Yep, anything can happen. I'm not, I'm not, like, surprised or anything like that, I remember. I've casted multiple games that they have come back from a, a very high deficit, not even a 5-0 to get to a tie, a 6-6, so I've seen that before, so if, uh, you know, if people can do it, then, you know, u 2 Easy is a team that probably can do it. They just have to read their plays, and again, this is their last round on attack, so we'll definitely see how they can maneuver and see what happens here. As they will be bringing again the Montane being brought into play from U2 Easy, because um, technically, if you do remember the first round, it wasn't working out for them. The second round, it worked out just a little bit. So the, nah, you bring it in now, it might switch it out. They might be better. They, they you know, they might have read the play and it might work out as well as they wanted to be. As you do see, Prime Elite bringing the castle once again. No Valkyrie being brought from uh, Cryptic over here. So uh, yeah, but I do see the mirror. The mirror was very strong for them. Um, but the person that was very strong for you 2 easy when the mirror was being brought was the Habana. Sadly, the Habana is not being brought into play. It is the Thermite that will be the hard reacher. So, 
Let's see if they can bring this back. It looks like they're trying to focus on getting that VIP wall. As we did see in their plays before, Prime Elite does not hold VIP as much as they hold, you know, Penthouse and Theater and underneath. So, you 2 easy might be having control of, down, of, of VIP very soon and easy, hopefully. It might actually work out for you 2 easy with the Monty, because they didn't bring a Legion this time. So, he doesn't have to deal with that annoying us, but you do still have the smoke canisters. So, we'll see how that plays yep. out. I definitely agree with that one. Now, the thing is that you 2 easy was having problems was, was, was with helping the Montane, having someone support the Montane and having him head behind his back. So let's see now, they're bringing the Montane. He is calling for help to break this hatch down. So maybe his intention is to break the hatch and then to drop it and having someone else watch him right behind him. So we'll just see what happens there as we have finally Peaks, he was smacking that castle down with his life and gets it open. So let's see how they do it here as Planes and Bigfoot will be taking control of the booth section of the Throw some Thatcher outs, taking out those bandit charges that were there. We have actually Cryptic that downstairs, to be honest, so he will not be bandit tricking or any type of things like that. J Wall is right by next to him as well, just helping him out. Going to throw a C4. Montaigne did do exactly what I said before. He will be dropping into the bathroom and taking some use to cure of that. Remember, there's a castle there. So you have to be very careful not to get wall banked from the wall behind him. Also, get this castle down, be careful from underneath. C4 going out, did some damage on that one right there as he does see the bandit down there. So he has to be very worried. The peak is going to be happening, and the curse clapped. <laughs> Collecting that kill off the bat, taking him out. Castle getting down right there as well. That's Supreme downing him, but not knowing that he actually downed him, though. So he's going to be going back down. Actually, that's... Yeah, Planes is in, is in sight right now, but does not have the fuser, so he literally has to wait for Nomad to repel in and get the fuser down. Right now, it's looking like U2Easy might be collecting this round right here. As J-Wall White might be pushing back. Yep, he be pushing up his buddy. But hey, guys, I, I got you, man. I got you. Making a nice 4v5 right now. Shots going out. Not taking him out, though. J-Wall will be pushing back. Still got the... Yep, let's get the mirror. Holding angles. He killed a sweet pixel angle right here. Gonna see if we can take him out as well. Not getting that kill, though. This clap is in sight right now. Clap is in sight. J-Wall taking out the first kill. That is the thermite. That's off the board. There's Peaks also getting the kill on that one. Taking a 4v4. Flashbang going out. I'm getting one kill right there. Collecting that one as well. There's planes. They're in sight, guys. They're literally in sight. All they need to do is get the plan down. They do get the plan down right here. They're getting to get it down. So that just has to watch and make sure the C4 going out just downs him before he gets the kill. But he stops the fuse, though. He's going to watch him once more again. And no. Sadly, he does not. All he had to do was stick that diffuser. But the thing is, he got so worried that the mute, the mirror threw threw the C4. And he thought that he was going to die from it. So he stopped trying to run away from it. Thatcher did save his life, but uh, he just couldn't stick it. And that will cost you too easy to lose that round, giving Prime Elite 6 to 0. What you gotta say, Jupiter? What do you gotta say to this man? That that should have been a you too easy round. If they would have droned out uh, towards the castle, you know, did a roam clear towards the opposite side of the map, then they could have possibly picked off the Jaeger as well. It just seems like they're just wanting to push sight and that's it. Just get the wall and go in. And I mean, sometimes that yeah. works, but sometimes you have to adapt if it's not working. But we do, we are switching here, so we could see yeah. them bring up a couple it's, rounds. It's, it's, it's still a comeback that can happen. Even if it's not a comeback, they can still bring some nice rounds going on, man. So we can't let them get it out, man. You too easy to tell them they can do this. A lot of people in chat, guys, please support them at home, guys. These guys can literally put a comeback coming out right here. Right now, they have to do a strong one, and they can. They literally can. As we do have you too easy going into Blurs and Hookah on their first defensive round right here. And we have Primally going into their first attacking round. They are bringing the capital. They are even bringing their own little uh, little Montaigne to the play as well. So definitely got to see how they're going to work this out right here. 
And then remember, do have planes that is bring the legion. So bring the legion, stopping out that might that uh, Montaigne might be a big powerful operator there. So if you are you too easy right now, Jupiter, how are your comms feeling right now, man? What are you saying to your team to get to momentum back into play to get this comeback? We have to. If we were you too easy, we would have to drone more. I would be telling them to drone more. Um, go below sight. Do shoot through the floor. You know, with that twitch, twitch. You need to take out the maestro cams. Get that stuff out of the way. Oh, they're on defense. <laughs> <laughs> Wow. Yes, <laughs> Definitely agree. Take but that it's totally back. fine. Man. <laughs> <laughs> totally fine, man. Nah, but you'd want the pulse okay, to no. definitely be playing under. Yeah. Something that you want to stop, and that's exactly what Prime Elite just did with the Montane, just scaring him off. He was just like, oh man, it's a Montane, I gotta get out of here. And that's exactly what he did. He didn't hold his ground. He didn't want to fight that because he knew somebody might be behind that Montane that might make him pay. So, But he will be holding an angle on these stairs right here, though. They're gonna be falling back, gonna be taking out this legion right off his foot. But if you do see it, it is the Capital that would be right behind him. You have the legion that would be sticking his ground and gonna be fighting this Montane right here. No rotations happening from a late from the backside. Oh, that's a nice nice thing right there. Almost taking him down to at least a nice 25 HP right there. Oh, and there's the Jaeger right there. Peaks making him pay and downing him as Claps will be finishing off the kill. No, he's going to make sure he throws out the kill, but oh! Sadly, a team kill did happen from YouTube Easy and taking out Claps. Leaving Bigfoot right now, having a nice tight angle on this. Does see him this little bit. j Wall taking out that kill right there. Oh, it's not looking so good for you too Easy right now. Prime Elite right now having four... Bodies remaining, and that's another body falling for you too easy, leaving Peaks the last man standing to survive. If he survives this, trying to get a knife right there. I'm gonna see Montaigne gonna be pushing him out, and there it is, ladies and gentlemen. Prime Elite taking 7 0. Oh, sadly, you're too easy. Now, ladies and gentlemen, it's sad to see it, and it's sad to hear it. It is a 7 0. Prime Elite, this is a, a redemption. Bracket, so they're gonna be moving on to the next round of redemption bracket. But you too easy, sadly. This will be the end that we see them in the summer cup and hope to see them very strong and rebuilding in season two of collective. But really, really, really well played for Prime Elite and just both teams overall. So very good GG's guys. Gonna do it better than that, man. As mm -hmm. Prime Elite will be taking that one, so we will be getting Prime Elite's main man up in here we'll begin your cryptic again here right now again guys you in chat this is just the second game of the day guys second game of the day it is literally going to be the third game coming up at 9 p.m. eastern time guys 9 p.m. eastern time so please stay tuned for that guys all right What's up, man? How you doing, Mike? How you doing? I'm feeling man? good, dude. After last week, we needed to come back. <laughs> we got it. <laughs> good, bro. Make sure your audio is included, please. Already got Make sure it, you dude. Don't, don't skip worry that about off. it. Perfect. Right? Give me another rules, man. Come on. That's what I'm talking <laughs> about, Cryptic Man. Again, I'm gonna solve the questions really easy, and then Jupiter's gonna take it right off. So we're gonna do a nice easy one, man. Go ahead. Seven zero. -oh. I'm gonna say it, man. Seven zero. -oh. It must feel good, and I know it does feel good, especially in the redemption bracket. You know that you're moving on to the next redemption round, and sadly, you too easy will be falling off of the Summer Cup. Now, what do you have to say how, cam how the comms were working leading up to the 7 0, man? Leading up to 7 0, oh. how, how was the comms, man? Comms, every single time someone asked, comms clear, instantly done. Every single time we asked for some call outs, we, got out, we kept bringing intel up, so we constantly had the flow, flow of rotation. Obviously, everyone knows Rogue, Smoke, there's always a good combo, J-Wall, Jaeger, no one can say anything better, J-Wall's an amazing rumor, with a good combo, you can't do better than that, and with constant flowing intel, you just need to shut one of them down. Yeah, that's exactly it. Another question before I pass it on to my main man over here, Jupiter. How did Jupiter, actually Jupiter, when he actually mentioned that before, I remember that, how did Prophet feel? When he got that nice 2K, throwing that C4 out the window, getting that 2K, 
How did he feel in that? He took out the actually the Blackbeard and the Ying, if he, I was correct. He screamed. The second he, <laughs> the, the second, the second he told Blackbeard, I was like, okay, Blackbeard's down. When the, when when the control's gone, Ying down. That's 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 two things to prevent um, prevent us from stopping around. That gives us free, four, a little bit free rotations with C fours down below with me, which gives us a little bit more freedom to play the game. And that's exactly it, because once you get that Blackbeard off of your back of that window, you just have so much more confidence. So definitely very good answer there. Jupiter, you can go ahead, man. X is lovely, man, whatever you got to do. Uh, what was what was it like leading up to this game for practices or whatever you guys did? What did you guys do to get ready for this game? <laughs> After last week, when we got some... I, I kind of denied. We got completely demolished in our open bracket in the Summer Cup. We we just went we stick and we did it. We all sat down as a team on Monday morning. We all went through the pod. We all wrote down what everyone did wrong, how we did it wrong, and we practiced it in scrims. We were dominating the scrims, and we've just gone up. We've gone up since then. Yeah, you you guys really brought it today. It was a it was a really good game from both teams. Yep. Any more uh, questions, Jupiter? No, that's it. Perfect. Now, you already know how we do it, man. You already know how it's yep. done. You have 30 seconds to shout out. Whatever you got to do, man, please take your time now, bud. I'd like to thank Prime Elite for taking me in, giving me the IGL role. Uh, now we're finally going to show people how we do things here in Prime Elite. I'd like to thank Rogue and all my players, as well as all the supporters out there watching us every day, every stream we watch. And I'd also like to thank um, Collective TV Sports for streaming us and showing, giving us time to show up skill. Also, you too easy for just giving us a good game. Yep, 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 man. Definitely all sportsmanship and just respect all around, and that's what I love to see. That's what, that's what Collective's all about, so definitely good, and shout out to your team, Cryptic. Again, guys, it's been Monkey, it's been Jupiter, and it's been Prime Elite versus u 2 Easy, man. This is the second game, guys. There was a second game of the day. We're going to go back at it again at 9 o'clock p.m. Eastern Time, guys. 9 p.m. Eastern Time. That is going to be Noble Minds versus Zodiac Esports. That's another redemption match. So if you watch that game, guys, someone is going home. Someone's going home unhappy, and we do not. We, we got to definitely tune in to see who's going home. So again, Cryptic, thank you so much, man, for getting here and showing us a game and, ha and just entertaining the heck out of all of us at home and everyone here, man. So thank you so much for that, man. And we'll definitely no catch everyone else. At 9 o'clock, guys. Peace.